Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with The Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is a Spooky Sparkles collaboration hosted by Sparkle by Monica. So before I go into showing you uh, all the little uh, things I have pulled out to make some spookly jewelry, I just wanted to tell y'all when we're done here to go check out all the other participants in this collaboration. Just use the hashtag Spooky Sparkles in the search bar and you'll find all kinds of people that are uh, participating. So we needed to do something sparkly and spooky and I have these witch hats. Aren't they fun? They're just some lamp work beads. We got a little moon there. And so I wanted to use these. And then in September's Bargain Bead Box, we had these really pretty, uh, kind of rusty, orangey crystals. And they are very, very sparkly. So I'm going to add that into the mix. And, you know, since we have this white moon, I wanted to have some type of white uh, bling and so I have these crystal bicones and then look at these they're kind of a blackish gray and these are very sparkly I think I'm gonna make some earrings these are gonna be pretty big earrings so of course we need ear wires we need some head pins I'm thinking I'm going to need some tiny little seed beads and maybe some little bigger seed beads and wire. And then, of course, I'm going to need flat nose pliers, my wire cutters, and my round nose pliers. So I did some playing around, and this is what I came up with. It's a very large statement <laughs> earring. And I guess I could shorten these a little bit, but I don't know. They're, these are fun, and they are definitely sparkly. Now, when I was creating these, the first thing I did was I just took a head pin, and I, I was going to just do um, one string of just the, the black and a string of the orange and a string of the white. But... I don't know that that didn't look too interesting to me so then I decided just to go every other one and then on the top I used one of each of the beads here now these earrings have pretty big holes and so these beads were definitely going to be going in that hole so that's why I went and got some bigger beads and I just took some 20 gauge wire and I strung the beads on so we have first I used one of the tiny seed beads the bigger bead and then the hat and then I used another one of the bigger silver beads a black bead a white bead and an orange bead and then I topped it with another little tiny seed bead and then I looped it around and made a little wire wrap and this is where the earring wire will hang so once you get it wired you need to tuck that in. So once you get your loop and you wire and tuck in all that stuff, you slide the beads down and you're going to make a, another loop at the bottom just like you did at the top. Well, I've got the top portion done. Now for the dangles. So I started out with a little tiny silver tone seed bead and you notice each one's different. We'll start out with the black and then the white. Whoop, that has a hole in the side. That's kind of strange. We won't use that bead. Okay. So 
So the white and then the uh, black. We're doing every other black, orange, black, white, black, orange, black, white. Let's see, black, white, black, orange. And I could stop there and maybe make a smaller earring, which I actually think that's what I'm going to do because this, this is just a little bit too big. And then I'll go back and I'll trim these off. And then I'm going to top it with a small seed bead and then just pretend I'm making an earring. Just make the loop by bending it, cutting it, looping it. And then I'm kind of curious as to what this looks like before I make the rest. If these little ones will look fine. Yeah, I think I'm going to like the littler ones better. So I'm going to go ahead and finish stringing these up. This one is going to start with uh, white and then black. And then orange and then black and then we'll finish it off with white and a little seed bead and then this one we'll do a seed bead and we want to start with orange this time so we have orange black white, black, and ending with orange. So let me go ahead and wrap these and hang these and I'll be back. Definitely like these better as earrings. Now this would make a really fun zipper pull or Blythe doll hang or purse dangle. Just put a lobster claw clasp up here and you can just dangle it on your backpack or wherever. I'm going to cut these down and then I'll be back to show you what they look like all finished. And they're all finished. I really like these. These are going to be fun to wear during the Halloween holiday season. So I hope you go and check out everybody else. Just use the hashtag Spooky Sparkles. And you'll find some sparkly, spooky jewelry and other things, not just necessarily jewelry. So are you making you some sparkly, spooky, fun things for this Halloween? Let me know in the comments below if you are. I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already. Mostly, though, I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.